Hi, we're Freya and Sarah from Crafty Sew and Sew, and today we're going to demonstrate to you how to thread up your sewing machine. So we're going to start by taking the bobbin, and we're going to pop it on the bobbin winder, like so. Just give it a little push down, it might be a little bit tight. And then we're going to take your thread, and we're going to take off the spool stopper, pop the thread on the spool holder, and then pop your stopper back on, just to hold it in place. Then take your thread and we're going to go round number one. Most machines do have a um, numbering system, so this one's quite clear. Most of them do have numbers on them. If they don't, just pop some little stickers or take yourself a photo and just label it up. Um, but yeah, we go round number one, round number two, and for the bobbin, we're going to go off to this way um, rather than when you thread up the machine to sew, you're going to be going the opposite direction. So we take the thread around the little metal holder here and this is a little bobbin tension dial so that will just make sure that the bobbin winds on correctly. And then we're going to take the thread and wrap it round the bobbin a few times, I'd say about four or five times, until it's fairly well wrapped on. It's always a bit fiddly. And then on this machine you've got a little thread holder slash cutter just here. So I'm just going to pull into that and that's just cutting the thread short and also just holding it in place whilst we start the winding process. So to wind the bobbin, I'm going to push it towards this little metal bit here and on some machines you'll have to pull out the, um, the little um, wheel at the side so you pull it out sideways. On this machine you just push the, the bobbin over and then we'll start to wind the bobbin. And I would always say to wind your bobbin to its full capacity every time, because if you just wind a little bit on, you're almost guaranteed to need to rewind it halfway through a project. Um, I tend to find with dressmaking, with a bobbin, you can pretty much make most of a dress with one bobbin. Um, but if you're making something like jeans or something like that, it's worth um, just winding yourself a couple of bobbins. Just always be prepared. <laughs> So you can see that it's coming to the end when it starts to make a little bit of a rattly sound and it's also just starting to skip a little bit and you can see I've got my foot down on the pedal there and it's stopped moving so that's completely full. So I'm going to lift up the bobbin and then again use the cutter on the bobbin winder there. There we go. Just to cut that off and that's my bobbin all ready to go. I'm just going to pop that down to the side for now. So now I'm going to go right back to the beginning where I um, put my thread on the thread spool holder and just pull the thread off there. And then I'm going to start to wind the thread around the top part. So I'm going to go around number one and then there's a little hook here. I'm going to go underneath that again and I'm just following the channels really, going around number two and then number three. And then we're just going to move the sewing machine so that you can see the front and I'll show you how to thread up the rest. So we're taking the thread back down all the way through here, wrapping it around in a U-turn at number three, and then at the top again, a U-turn at number four. Now it's really important at this stage to make sure that your needle is in the full upright position. So to do that on this machine, you've got a button just here, which is your um, needle up and down button. I can press that and it'll lower the button, the needle right down. I can press it again and it brings the needle right up to its highest position. If you've got a manual machine uh, rather than a computerised machine, you might have to do that by twisting the wheel and quite often the wheel has a little mark on it that you can um, just line up or just make sure that the needle is completely up. Um, and that just releases all the tensions and allows you to thread up the machine properly. Um, so yeah, we've just gone round that little hook. And again, with some machines, you can see this hook. On this machine, you can't. Um, you just have to trust and kind of, you can see from just above as well, slightly. So on the needle bar, you've then got a little hook. And this is one that quite often people forget to, um, to thread up the needle bar. So yeah, that's, uh, that will help you to use the automatic needle threader that's installed on this machine. So we've gone through the needle bar. We're just gonna take the thread through this little metal notch here and then up and over number seven which is this plastic little tab here pull that to the back and then on the side of the machine there's a little cutter again which is very useful for whilst you're sewing but also useful for just cutting your thread to exactly the right length for threading up the needle 
and then we've got number nine which is a lever to thread up the sewing machine so I'm just going to press that down makes a little bit of a clunky sound and then we've got a little loop of thread and we'll just pull that thread through and you can see that your needle is threaded up so the last thing to do is to pop the bobbin in the bottom and get that set so on here you've got again a few arrows to show you where to actually position the um the thread as you're going through so you're going to take the thread round and making sure that when you pull the thread the bobbin turns in an anti-clockwise um, direction then take the thread around this little metal hook here following the arrow up round and down and again there's a little cutter here which will just help you to get the thread to exactly the right length and then you are ready to sew. Now with some machines you do need to bring the bobbin thread up and to do that you would use the wheel on the side and you would just pull the needle thread whilst turning the wheel and then it's going to pick up the bottom, the bottom thread but with these brother machines they are so clever you don't need to do that you just need to make sure that it's all set up in the right uh, place following the arrows and you're good to go. Pop the bobbin cover on and then you're ready to sew. I hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for watching our video.